Thanks for tuning in. This is the Life of the Miner, and in this video, I'm going to go over the hash rates, overclocks, and power draw mining Ethereum on the Radeon 7. So let's check this out. Alright, so I'm going to share the results mining Ethereum on the Radeon 7, and I do own the Radeon 7 by power color. Now, this is my test bench, and it does idle around 49 watts. Okay, so Claymore on stock settings. I was averaging around 90.06 mega hashes per second, and my whole test bench was consuming around 349 watts, so my GPU itself was only consuming around 300 watts. Now, this is the best overclock settings I tested so far. So the core at 1907, voltage at 1025, and the memory at 1200. I was averaging around 95.85 mega hashes per second, and my GPU itself was only consuming around 308 watts. Now, I do want to mention I was actually able to push it all the way up to 97 mega hashes per second, but it was not stable at all. Now, after many hours, the best efficiency settings that I tested so far I put the core at 1802, voltage at 954, and the memory at 1200. I was averaging around 88.98 mega hashes per second, and my GPU itself was only consuming around 245 watts. Now I did have a lot of requests to try out Phoenix Miner, so on max overclock settings, I was only averaging around 81.53 mega hashes per second. And I do want to mention that third party overclocking tools, they don't work. Only the Wattman from AMD works. All right, so thanks for checking out my mining results mining Ethereum on the Radeon 7. Now, I'll definitely be testing other algorithms down the road, so stay tuned. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining. Promise you'll catch me.